All right, guys, we are trying a new team here. I call it my Time Breaker team in that I both am running Temporal Anomaly and I'm running Dazzling Dance, where I will reduce their speed by 25% and increase my speed by 25%. So I'll be so much faster than them. Honestly, that synergy probably won't work, and I probably won't end up actually doing that. But I got Infinite Hatchling in the first slot. I'm running Breath over uh, Tail Sweep just because... Uh, running Temporal Anomaly and Tail Sweep is kind of counterproductive. Uh, and then I'm running Early Advantage over the Cyclone. So that's him. Then I got the Grumpling from that Great Christmas event. Uh, I'm running P uh, Punish, Frost Shock, and Deep Freeze. Now the reason I'm not running Snowball in the first lot is just got to diversify the damage up a little bit. And then in my last slot I got the Fjord Pup. And he's running Crouch and Flurry and Dazzling Dance. So we will see how this works out. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of interesting to try all these different team combinations. Uh, normally with these events, I just pump out like I'm doing it for, you know, speed. And so I'll just use my Dark Rat team and get my five wins super quick and call it. All right. First match of the Time Breakers. <laughs> yeah, earlier today I went against the Paradox Spirit with a full SS team and he just destroyed me. Okay. Um, who do we go first? We will go Grumpling. We'll go Grumpling. Wow. I didn't know this guy was that slow. Yeah, he's slower than the Anubis Sath Idol, which is like the slowest pet in the whole world. Okay. Now we'll do... Really? That's interesting. I'm surprised he did not switch. Ooh, switch into your Chromineus. I dare you. I dare you. Okay. Uh, now... He's still probably running Crush, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, which is fine. Yeah, he's running Crush. See, I was going to switch into the Infinite Hatchling there, but I just don't want to switch against him when he's got a type advantage. Okay, what does he run? He's just going to run... If he doesn't kill me, yes! Okay, so I gotta kill him here. Okay, terrible turnip. Um. Now I'll switch into this guy. Oh, he probably has weakening blows, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Holy smokes, you're low health. Okay, we'll run Temple Anomaly, or should we run Early Advantage? Does double damage if the user has lower health? Uh, I will not end up having lower health. Oh. Well, I will do double damage now. Okay, well, he's going to kill the Grumpling. Goodbye, Grumpling. It was a pleasure serving with you. Oh, what's awesome, with him having so much thinking health, it's going to make my dragon racial active every time here. Okay. Oh, look at this. So I'm going to uh, kill him this... Actually, I probably won't kill him this round. Yeah, I definitely won't. Even if I hit on the highest end of the breath. Which kind of stinks. I was hoping to kill him and then throw on early advantage for the next guy. Okay. Holy smokes, thousand damage. Okay. Use my early advantage. I wonder if he's just running Surge of Power Howl. That's what most of them would do. Yep. Okay. 600 and something. I mean, it's good that he took me out, but. 
he's also stunned for two rounds, and I have a pet in the back line that's not taking any damage this entire fight. Yeah, that, that worked out really nicely. It's a quick win. The temporal anomaly is kind of nice. Maybe I should have used it earlier in the fight. Hmm. I like it. Okay. Hmm. Come at me, bro. What do we got? We got a Force Moth. Okay, I've got no moves that are strong versus flying types. And he's probably running the stupid Cocoon Strike. Which, by the way, I like absolutely hate that move. Um, we'll we'll run the dragon. Okay, we will do temporal anomaly. Is he seriously running? Wow. It's been a very long time since I've ever encountered people running apocalypse. Oh, sweet. I still get my dragon racial active. Okay. Can I kill him? If I kill him, uh, does that mean the apocalypse doesn't go off? Probably. He's running two critters? Okay, um, I'll go for one more breath. Goes for Burrow. I'm going to switch into my Warg Pup. Ouch. Okay, we will do Crouch. Oh, interesting. We'll do Flurry. I probably should have just gone Flurry then. So what I'm planning to do is that when the apocalypse is one turn from going off, I'm just going to switch back into him. Right. Wow. Look at that. Oh, stinker. Okay. At least I get to go first that time. Actually, I might just stay in on this guy here. Come on. Tell me I get to go first. Oh. Hmm. Apocalypse won't go off. That was silly, man. You shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Another flurry. Depends on who gets to go first. But I think I'll still be able to kill him. Yep. Wait, did Apocalypse just kill me? Oh, so Apocalypse goes off regardless. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. Don't worry about it. No. No, we're cool, man. Okay. I'm guessing he's going to go... Oh, I was almost sure he was going to go the Cocoon Strike. Dang. I'm so incredibly slow. Oh, curses upon Zeus's beard. Okay. Does he kill me? Does he kill me? No, he doesn't kill me. And he's still above 50% health. So stupid. Alright. So, I will hit him with this. Please don't put me to sleep. Dang it! Moths are super annoying. Yep. He's smart. Now he's going to do a cocoon strike. Moths are so annoying. Yep. Come on. That is so dumb. I'm not a sore loser, but I feel a little bit out of shape right now. I'm a little bit out of shape after that match. Okay. I really like that team. Uh, I know we lost that second match, but I still like that team. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, like rating is always appreciated. It was a pleasure gaming with you, and take care. Thanks for watching Gomorrah Games.